Still Love is showing his power, 1051. Miss Whitney Houston is on the phone. Whit, you got a lot of hits. Now, there's always a record out there that becomes a hit a lot of times that an artist didn't want to record. Is there a record that was a big record for you that you didn't want to do? I think there's one song that Clive and I, we bumped heads about a lot. And mm-hmm. I, it was it was on the album, which became like my um, seventh consecutive number one song. And, and I keep going back. People ask me the same thing. And it was Where the Broken Hearts Go. What? Yeah. It was a song I really didn't want to do. Um, and he, he, he told me if I did this song that I would make history with this song. And I couldn't understand exactly what he was saying by that. Uh-huh. But when it actually happened, um, it became my seventh consecutive number one song, beating out Elvis and the Beatles at the same time. So, wow. Um, yeah. That's a big record. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. That, that's um, one of the records that you got to mm-hmm. do. Like, if, if we pay money to see you and you don't do that, we're going to be mad. It's funny because now it's one of my favorite songs performed live. I love singing it live. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, you from Newark, New Jersey. I am from Newark, New Jersey. Brick City, all day, air day. All day long, all day long. Represented well. What was one of your favorite spots to eat at in Newark? You know, um, there's this little place downtown, uh, down there on Broad Street. I think it's on Halstead Street called Jay's. It's a little breakfast place called Jay's. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like Jay's. Oh. I was over there the other day because I was down there doing some school shopping with my son. That's right. That's right. And we all meet there at the church. And Jay got the best breakfast, man, you ever and, Oh, my God. <laughs> Ooh, got the best breakfast in the world. So we all at the church because we go there to eat. So that was one of my favorite places to go down there at the Jay's. Absolutely. Favorite R&B singers that have come out in the last couple of years? Who's your favorites? That's a hard one because... Um, you know, I've I've heard a lot of, of people, and I'm very particular about whom and what I listen to. I'm still listening to old. I still listen to Earth, Wind, and Fire. Right. I still listen to Rita Franklin. I still listen to you know the oldies like Mint Condition. I li- I listen to folk that had content in their songs. Mm-hmm. But you know, um, I, I do like to listen to like I love Christina Agu- Aguilera. I mm-hmm. love her song. I love her voice. I love her tone. And Beyonce, of course, is, is always a love. Um, but recently, I mean, mostly, um, like I told you, um, uh, Alicia Keys became appealing to me because she was a person who was writing songs with content. Right. Something that had some content and some melody to it. Right. You know what I'm saying? That people, that you know, it's very important that when you're, when you're writing or when you're singing a song, you're interpreting a song, that it's something that people can sing along to, that they can catch on to, that they can identify with in some way or another is most important. So, I mean, you know, those are some of the artists that, that I kind of liked. You know, I, I love I love Neo. I love his stuff. I love the way he does his stuff. Right. And um, and I, I, I can't think of nobody else right now. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking to Whitney Houston on the Ed Lover Show. If you just joined us, There's a lot of fans out there, Whitney, that, uh-huh. that are welcoming you back with open arms, that have always had your back from day one. Is there something That's special exactly. you want to say to all your fans right now? I just want to say to everyone, thank you for your love and for your support. And um, during the time that y'all did not hear from me, it wasn't that I was gone. And, and, and it's not like I'm making a comeback. I took a break. I took a break from it all because there are certain things that were more important to me than at that time than making records and traveling the world. I had done it all, and I had some things fixed and to, and to, and to, and to work out. So um, I thank them. I love them. Keep praying for me as well as I pray for your, their strength in the Lord. And, you know, I just, you know, just wanted to be the best and do the best I can. When, when are you going back on tour, ma? Real soon. I think next year. Mm-hmm. My sister-in-law, who is now taking my management over, and she and I are managing me together. Um, we're gonna we're gonna try to do this thing next year. Um, I'm getting a lot of calls and a lot of things. Um, she's over here whispering, starting in February, starting in February. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta start working out real quick <laughs> what we're gonna do. You know right. what I'm saying? But yeah, we, we, it looks like a February start. Good. Are you on Twitter? Am I on with what? On Twitter. You familiar with what Twitter is? I don't mess with nothing that I, nah, I can't do Twitter. I can't do Twitter. I can't do nothing. <laughs> I, I can barely, I can barely text now. I'm just getting into texting. My daughter's my sister and she does all that for me. Oh yeah? Did, uh-huh. did your daughter, did your daughter put up a Twitter page for you yet? 
Uh, yeah, she, she, yeah, she's into it. Yeah, she does. <laughs> but you mm-hmm. can't, but you don't know nothing about it, huh? Wait. I can't, no, I can't miss all that. It's too much for my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much for my nerves. I got nothing to think about and deal with besides Twitter. <laughs> well, we'll be looking out for your Twitter page anyway, Ma. And we appreciate you calling in this morning. Wait for real. I, and I love you. Thank you for spending me, baby. I appreciate that. Come on, Ma. You already know what it is. You know we got nothing but love for you. Brick City all day. <laughs> Okay, baby. All right, Whit. You God bless you. Take care, y'all. God bless you, man. Whitney Houston on the Ed Lover Show, y'all on your Power 105.1.